<laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Semi-final, SV versus Sidnev in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Hello, Heps, probably watching from home in the chat. So currently the channel points are rolling in, predicting Sidnev to be the heavy favorite. It is an um, ensemble of European Tetris players recently that have started to emerge, Sidnev being seen as the crowning jewel of this very strong generation of European players coming about in the same time between all the players who have come here to Vienna. We've got a European champion, a UK champion, a DAS world champion, a Polish champion, they're the same person, and a Masters winner all here. SV running into some troubles early on. Sidnev so far completely clean and flawless. 136 for Sidnev, 73,000 for SV, and SV tops out at 74,000. It's a shocking start there. Ready? Three, two, one, Tetris. Right, a bit of a shocking start there for SV. Sometimes things just get out of control, especially when you're starting off a match, a big match, against your big rival. Sometimes you just have a false start. Let's see how SV bounces back. Sidnev creating a J dependency causes them to burn a couple of lines here at the beginning. SV is a Tetris ahead, but had a very strange mistrap of the L piece. It's trying to find a way to burn. J piece is perfect. Now just a double away from being clean. Ninety-five thousand here for Sidnev, seventy-six thousand here for SV. Sidnev here could use about twenty-four square pieces here with this left side. Decides to create the Lombard dependency and gets rewarded. Gonna get Tetris ready right there. Sidnev currently about 17,000 points ahead. Both players getting Tetris's. Sidnev able to score another one. SV with a nice tuck there of the T piece. Both players are playing clean. So, unlike game one, it's just steady starts here. And as I say that, Sidnev. Sometimes Sidnev makes moves that look like misdrops, but I think in this case that was just a misdrop. And SV in some danger. J piece would be perfect. Lombard could also do the trick. Z piece is not what he needed in that situation. But Lombard there to fill the hole. And there should be not too much danger of topping out necessarily here for sit for SV, but it's gonna be quite a bit of burning here. Setting have already seventy thousand points ahead. And with a clean board, SV trying to find the efficient way to burn this down. Takes a double there with a the square. T piece would be great. S piece kind of works. But a pair of T's is definitely great, especially followed by that bar. And SV is going to be clean. So that's to hold off on getting clean. And instead, adjusts nicely there for. The dirty Tetris to get completely clean. Although knowing SV, I think you would have gone for it even if the bar wouldn't have come next. Lots of J's needed here for SV. Gets two of them. And is 
Board is clean now. 242 here for SV. 354 for Setnev. About two thirds of the way now to level 19. Sidnev enjoying a 60,000 point lead. Gets another Tetris, but now has a pair of holes on their board and decides to just build on top of it. Tetris ready now on row three. Gonna get the Tetris. 425 for Sidnev. 333 for SV. SV. It's a decent double, but the Lombard is gonna be very helpful. And SV gonna get clean, gets a Tetris. 359 here for SV, 471 for Sidnev. Yes, when someone tops out, the 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 deciding thing is score, full stop. Not who outlasts who. Sidnev here looking for a J piece. J is going to come. Decides not to go for the S spin, but after the third S, basically forcing them. <laughs> Thank you, Messix. 522 here for Sidnev. 369 for SV. It's not the cleanest of boards here for either player. And they're each 10 lines away from level 19. But SV there, nice Tetris, and is gonna try and get another one. Good horizontal awareness there for SV. And if he can get a bar now, it could be a perfect wall transfer into level 19. 445 for SV into level 19. Sidnev already at 577, but is gonna take a single into 19 and still has Something of a mess, but in reality, it's just Sidnev building one row higher, which doesn't make much of a difference when you're as good as Sidnev. 6.03 here for Sidnev. 4.93 for SV. And knowing what a demon Sidnev is on post, this is not boding well here for SV. Already down one game after a shocking game one start. But SV is undoubtedly one of the best players in the world. And so far, having a clean post. 598 here for SV. Sidnev with a 686. Left side didn't look too great there for Sidnev, but gets some good pieces to fill it out. Square piece is not what Sidnev was hoping for, but this is a good solve right there. Minimizing burns only takes two singles there. To resolve that situation now, the board that resulted wasn't too great. But in the end, it's going to work out there with a T-spin. 745 for Sidnev, 685 for SV. Oh, Sidnev there with a miss drop, but nice solve there. Sidnev is either the fastest thinker in the world or they did that intentionally. I don't know what it is. 807 there for Sidnev, 726 for SV. So SV is definitely hanging in here. Format of this tournament is 39 double kill screen. SV here, gonna take a good double and ah, good triple into a good double. And nicely solved there but does lose quite a few lines when you're playing against Sidnev, who's 120,000 points ahead. It's not what you want to do. By the way, SV now into level 26 at 8.07. Sidnev at level 26 at 9.15. Sidnev with a Lombard Pensy over to the left side, but is going to fill it out just in time. And SV here in some trouble. Nice adjustment there for SV, keeping it clean. It's definitely looking like SV is going to need to pull something out here. 
on post 29. It's a 100k lead here for Sidnev with the same amount of Tetris available. Tetris there for, for SV. Both players are clean. AO2 now for Sidnev. And both players now looking for their final Tetrises, their final lines here before level 29. They're at the same point in the RNG. Sidna, uh, SV, oh my god, SV has transitioned to level 29 at 970, is now into level 30. Sidnev with a cleaner board, he's got the 1.1. Oh, and Sidnev started to get shaky that board, but still gets a Tetris to burn it down. But that left side is getting inaccessible, gets a bar over to the right side, but Sidnev's done at 1.153. So it's a chase down here for SV. He's got until level 39 until the double kill screen appears. So it's not line outable. But there's a Tetris there for SV. 100k and a bit from this point. We'll let SV take the game, but at some misdrops here for SV. Gets the bar over to the left side. Needs a two bottom for the left. Oh, doesn't get the bar over and SV is done at A55 and Sidnev. Sidnev gonna hold on there. Job was done going into 29, getting the 1.1. All right, game number three in three, two, one, Tetris. So Sednev, obviously one of the best players in literally anything. 29, 18, 19. And that last game, it was the just nudging ahead of SV. They got the lead early on and just kept a hold of it for the entire way. And in the end, despite topping out earlier on post-29, Built up enough of a lead to make it a real challenge for SV, and in the end, it was enough to hold on. Currently, both players are flawless. Three Tetris is in. If you are just joining us and you're hearing the sound, this is, um... <laughs> That's the that's the subway going. <laughs> so Sidnev at 136, SV at 138. So just a slight one Tetris lead here for Sidnev to start us off. SV will know they can definitely challenge Sidnev here on the post 29, but they're definitely going to need to. Try and make it a more competitive game going into 29. Sidnev is, for good reason, considered currently by a good fraction of people to be the best player in the world. Two hundred and fifty thousand here for Sednev, two hundred and fifty two thousand here for S V, so it's completely even here. Although Sidnev did get one Tetris ahead. <laughs> By the way, not much to separate the two players. S's and Z's here for S V, but is able to handle it decently with how the board turned out. Two seventy five for S V needs a two bottom to unlock the well. And both players running into the same drought here. And Sidnev probably going to harm them more as they've been forced to build a Lombard defense. He is going to get a Tetris right there. LP's there for a triple would have been what they wanted. Instead, it's a double into a single. Oh my god! SV there. His tournament life flashed before his eyes but got the bar over. 
And right now it's Sidnev's turn to have a bit of a scare. But just slowly but surely burning this down. Bar is going to come, and going to be very helpful, but needs another bar here. And could only take a skim at best, but it's just going to chuck a J piece in there and do it the old fashioned way. 363 here for SV. 386 here for Sidnev. 90 lines in, basically nothing in it. Four oh nine here for both players. SV is currently stacking on row two. But absolutely is capable of maintaining high efficiency on it. Still not even a thousand points in it right now. SV had a Shocking early top it in game one. And then a very close game two there. But the circumstances don't matter. SV is 0-2 behind and needs this game to stay alive. Pair of good singles there for SV to keep the board clean. Tetris here for SV goes up to 526. Sidnev with a Tetris goes up to 547. This is looking like it's a pretty decent seat as both players are looking north of a 600k transition if they're able to get these last few Tetrises. Sidnev basically there already. SV 595, Sidnev got high, but reality, it's not that big of a problem. Back-to-back -back Tetris is there for Sidnev to transition to level 19 at 640. SV going to follow at 619. So Sidnev once again with the lead, but it's a much, much closer game going into level 19 compared to the previous one. Right now, not much in it. Both players just stacking for Tetrises. SV with a Tetris goes up to 669, gets another Tetris, goes up to 695. Almost the same line count and almost the same score. SV misses the line spin. At least I think that he was trying to go for a line spin. LRJ needed here for SV. Now is turned into a Lombard dependency, which has now turned into a covered up Lombard dependency. LP is needed here for SV and it's going to work out, gets a triple. Clean board now, 708 for SV, 759 for Sidnev. Sidnev trying to just nudge ahead, less than a Tetris ahead. But SV had a T-spin set up. But as is so common, the T never came in time. So just had to take some burns. Tetris there for SV goes up to 769, Sidnev at 818. Tetris there for SV, Tetris for S for Sidnev. About a bit less than a two Tetris lead it was. Maybe closer to a one Tetris lead. 8.58 here for SV, Sidnev gets a Tetris, goes up to 9.09. So Sidnev just keeping their nose in front here. Uh, this is an absolutely solid post-transition game here for both players. Tetris for SV. Sidnev here has maxed out just before level 26. SV will probably have to settle for a 26 max out. But it is once again looking like level 29 will be the decider. Although SV has ended up with a Lombard Pensy. Fortunately for him, doesn't have to wait around too long for it. But just like that, 
It's not like SV was in a huge dig, but Sidnev has just built up a 100k lead. 1.137 here for Sidnev. A29 for SV. SV needs this J-piece. Now has built up a Lombard dependency here on the left side, gets the bar over. So is going to be able to survive, but gave up some valuable Tetrises here as Sidnev has been able to stay efficient. And once again, wants to take a huge lead here into post-29. SV is off and running on post-29. A88 here for SV. Sidnev already with a 1.2. C26 for Sidnev. SV with the Tetris gets the B. B28 here for SV, but had some miss drops. Still salvageable. But cannot afford any mistakes and now needs to get something over to the left side. Gets the bar over and then gets the S piece over. L piece right there. Gets the bar over once again. SV has cleaned it up. Sidnev is topped out at C42. So SV needs to get to C43 to take this game. Is set up for another Tetris. Waiting for the bar. Gets the bar. One more Tetris will definitely do it, but can definitely also just line this out. 3,000 more points needed. One more single. And Sid... <laughs> Sidnev going to be denied the sweep as SV rallies back. And this time able to complete the chase down. Sidnev did more in that game than the last game, but this time SV refused to go down. All right, game number four in three, two, one, Tetris. And as people just witnessed something live, SV and Sidnev looked like it was the most normal thing in the world. They were straight ready for the next game. When you're this good, doing stuff like that is absolutely no surprise whatsoever. Sidnev here, yet to score a Tetris. I'll be honest, I've been looking a little more towards SV side of the board in this game. So I haven't really seen what's gone wrong with Sidnev here. But Sidnev now in a lot of danger. Bar would be perfect, gets the bar. So... Should, uh, should stop with any crazy business happening. LPs is going to be helpful. By the way, Sidnev still yet to score a Tetris. Those are some nasty S pieces there for SV. But in this case, just decided to cut his losses and take the uh, row one setup. Sidnev with her first Tetris of the game, 55,000 to SV's 146. SV has been able to score here, so it doesn't seem like it's the RNG. It just seemed like something went horribly wrong here for Sidnev. Start! Sidnev with a hang. This is a very awkward board. L piece is absolutely crucial and able to get the square tuck. So the thing's falling in place here for Sidnev. Still need something for the left side. J or Lombard. J shows up. And Sidnev. Gonna get the L piece. Still needs to take a single. Takes a single with the JPs. Now has a Lombard dependency reopen. It's not a dirty Tetris swell, but would really want the bar nonetheless. And oh, Sidnev tops out at 79,000. Miss flips and then isn't able to react in time. And just like that, we've got a decider. All right, game number five. The finale of SV and Sidnev in three. Two, one, Tetris. It looked all Sidnev there after the first two games. SV had a missed start in game number one. Gave Sidnev a 1 0 advantage. And then after an incredible 
game there by Sidnev. Built up way too much of a lead for SV to chase down in game number two. It looked to be a similar story in game number three to finish off SV and move on into the finals. But in that game, SV... answered all those questions and got the chase down to keep the set going. And then similar to game one, he just had a false start. It was a very unfortunate misdrop that ended up killing Sidnev, but it was a strange start for them nonetheless. But it looks like none of that funny business is going on here in game number five so far. Both players Sidnev is flawless, SV has taken three burns. And both players looking clean. Sidnev there, LP's to the left side, gets a Tetris. Sidnev, oh. Someone in the chat asking where that one point came to Sidnev. Sidnev is uh, infamous for uh, always being perfect with pushing down exactly one point. Which is actually harder than it sounds. To be able to do that every single time. Oh, S Sidnev there. Got a little bit Spicy. Has the lead for the moment. 234,000 for Sidnev, 218 for SV. But Sidnev is clean. Considering the line differential, it's, yeah, it's a very slight lead here for Sidnev. But basically nothing to separate the two players. Next person to get into something of a situation will be at a disadvantage. Another Tetris here for SV. Couple thousand points in it. This is the game five decider. Whoever wins moves on into the final. The opponent's yet to be decided. Just as a reminder, we've got Dan V versus Messex coming up after this to decide who will face the winner of this match. And both of those players are absolutely fantastic. So it's no slight against them by any means. But a lot of people definitely would have the feeling that any match these two are involved in could be a final. 386 here for Sidnev, 381 for SV. SV having a bit of an awkward board here. Yes, we are in Vienna, in the wonderful Respawn Esports Bar in the 19th District, who were incredibly kind with accepting to host this tournament. And right now, it is so neck and neck. 500,000 to 578 of Sidnev. Now they're both at 500,000. There is basically nothing to separate these two players at the moment. They've each had one incredible game, which they won. And they've both had one shocking early top out each. So you can see why these two are considered the gold standard 
of European Tetris in 2023. 533 here for SV, 578 here for Sidnev. So it looks like Sidnev is going to just nudge ahead slightly as we move into the 19 speeds. 564 SV, 603 for Sidnev. Looks like both players are running into the same drought. Sidnev able to use the bar for a Tetris. Which is the same story here for... SV, 591 for SV, 662 for Sidnev. Sidnev slightly ahead in lines. So it is still a slight lead for Sidnev, but absolutely anyone's game still. Sidnev there with a Tetris. Does have a hole on their board, but gets the LPs for the perfect triple. Both pairs Tetris ready, waiting for some bars. Tetris for SV, Tetris for Sidnev. 673 for SV, 728 for Sidnev. Sidnev with a Tetris. Gets the good square piece there for a double. Oh, SV. Lombar and JP is exactly what the doctor ordered. And another Lombard to fill in. Another dependency. Sidnev currently at 817. SV at 735. Weirdly enough, we haven't really seen it in this set, but Sidnev is absolute demon on post-29. And we have seen in this set what a demon SV can be on post-29. So it could come down to that if not for this misdrop potentially. Gets the bar all the way over. But this is still cannot afford any mistakes whatsoever. One missed roll and the tournament is done. But there's a single to burn it down. SV surviving a minor scare, but Sidnev has somehow taken a minor scare and turned it into a 140,000 point lead. 846 here for SV, 952 for Sidnev. Sidnev with a hole on their board. But SV needs a bar, gets the bar. Either player, both players being denied of scoring Tetris on 26. Tetris for SV goes up to 888. Sidnev has reached the million point barrier. A02 for Sidnev, 922 for SV. So it's once again on course for a Sidnev lead into the 29 transition. So we shall see if SV can take the game despite that. Sidnev has transitioned to level 29 at A81. SV can get one more Tetris. But it's just going to take the double. Knows it's not worth it. Just lining out a little bit. Both players off and underway. Sidnev was ready for a Tetris, but just covered up the well just as the bar came. Nice L piece over to the left side as Sidnev gets a Tetris. Sacrifices a bit of the board health to get it, but it's still at a height where he can survive it. SV with a Tetris of his own. A66 here for SV. B54 Sidnev. SV getting the bar all the way over. Looks problematic, but SV can survive this, but I don't know if the same can be said for Sidnev. Needs a bar right about now, and Sidnev tops out at B54. SV needs B55 to move into the finals. The entire crowd has gotten silent as they watch SV play. Gets the bar over. Oh! The missed roll takes out SV. And Sidnev is our first finalist over here in Vienna. A matchup like this. When you see SV and Sidnev are about to face off, you think that can't fail. And once again, it has not.
Sidnev may have been the overwhelming favorite and was able to get it. But in the end, it definitely ended up being a little more complicated than that. But Sidnev, after an absolute clash of titans, gonna be moving on to the fucking finals. Sorry for swearing. SV.